Hi everyone, this is Laura Hammock from the Marble Jar Channel and in today's video I'll tell you about the system that I use to keep my purse organized. So there are a billion of these purse organization videos out there but everyone has their own spin so I thought I'd throw my system into the mix. I should say at the outset that I am not at all brand oriented and I am practical to a fault. So these things drive my handbag choices. This video is not going to appeal to you if you differ from me too much on either of these preferences. So right around the same time that I read The Life-Changing Magic of Tidying Up, I completely changed my purse philosophy. I used to believe the bigger and roomier the better. My bags would hold a plethora of things and it would take me forever to dig around to find anything in them. The bigger problem was that I was starting to get shoulder pain from carrying around such a heavy bag. So I changed my purse philosophy. Now my bag contains only what I consider to be essentials, so it is much lighter and much smaller. I can find everything immediately since things are always stored in the same place and everything is stored vertically thanks to Marie Kondo's advice. So here are my bag requirements. It needs to be smallish, but it has to have a long strap so I can wear it crossbody. It has to sit up on its own or be able to sit up on its own. It has to have the following three pockets. One external pocket for a phone, one internal zip pocket, and one internal non-zip pocket. Can't be super ugly or garish or difficult to style color, and it has to be easy to access from the top. So this purse fits the bill for me. I don't think it's super cute, but it's not bad. It has a neutral color. It meets all of my practical requirements. Plus, I think I got it at Marshall's for like $20, so that was a bonus. So in terms of what really goes into the church, you really need to use Marie Kondo's process for this. Dump everything out of your purse into a giant pile. Now pick up each thing and determine whether it sparks joy. Her term, not mine. It just means, do you like this item? Then once you have a smaller pile, make a second decision about whether you really need to carry this thing around with you everywhere. Okay, so here are the things that I have in my purse. My phone goes in the outside pocket. Nothing else goes in there. It's the thing that I need to access the most frequently, my, like most people. These things all here go in the inside zip pocket. So Advil, pocket knife, Sharpie, the world's skinniest hand sanitizer spray, eye drops, peppermint oil migraine stick, and an extra iPhone cord and earbuds. I try to store them all vertically before I zip so that I can access them easily and so they don't bunch up at the bottom. Okay. In this pocket goes um, hand lotion, gum, mints, and a pen that clips onto the side here. Okay, in the main pocket, sunglasses, which I actually hook one of them right through this ring here so it sits up vertically for me, doesn't fall in. Reading glasses, these are a new annoying addition to my life. Tissues. Wallet, could probably skinny this wallet down a little and keys with a helpful bottle opener on. So you can see everything is super accessible because it's stored vertically. I know where everything is. Now that usually does it for me in terms of what I need. Sometimes I could use um, an external battery um, on long days and so I can slide that in right here. But really I don't have that much room for anything else. Now, um, there are some times that I need um, more space, in which case I have a slightly larger bag, actually a much larger bag, that I just stick this into and then fill with other stuff. iPad, books, computer, water bottles, etc. So let me know what you think. Comments are always appreciated and thanks for watching.